You already know that Segundo Volante is a bit of a box-to-box midfielder. Yeah, we all know that. But do you know that he can blow your mind with some fantastic movement? Yes, sometimes he can leave the centre. He can do crazy little things. Yes, this is one heck of a role. And on today's show, I'm going to show you how I exploit the role. Today's show, I'm going to show you a few tactical systems and how you can use the Segundo Volante role. I'm also going to show you how you can tweak it with a few PIs and make it behave in some unique ways. Finally, yes, some combinations that bring a bit extra to the role. Segundo Volante literally means second defensive midfielder. This is a deeper box-to-box -box midfielder that busts the gut to get from one end of the pitch to the other end of the pitch. Now, when you look at the PIs of the Segundo Volante, you have plenty of options. You can get him to start further forward, meaning he doesn't start from his deeper position. He actually starts near a central midfield. This is significant because it means you can pair him with different kinds of roles to get different synergies. Then we have move into channels. What does this role do? Literally speaking, he's going to go between players. Now, sometimes this could encourage him to end up wide on the flank, supporting a fullback. This is how I use him in my box system. At the very basic level, before we start thinking about traits and styles, we need to understand the key attributes that are needed for a Segundo Volante. Because the Segundo Volante is going to bust the gut to get up the pitch, he absolutely needs stamina, work rate, acceleration. These are the three key attributes that you will need for a Segundo Volante. Then he's going to need first touch because he's got to bring the ball under control. So these are the bare bones that are necessary for a Segundo Volante. Without any PIs, a Segundo Volante is usually going to hold the central position. In fact, he's going to arrive at the edge of the area, making long shots a nice attribute to have. With an attack duty, he'll be slightly further forward. During the transition, he's going to push further ahead and sometimes he'll end up arriving inside the box. In my box system, I have the Volante. We get further forward and move into channels. What this does is he works synergistically with the deep line playmaker. The deep line playmaker will hold his position. This allows him to push up higher as a starting position. But when the fullback comes calling and the AP decides he wants to, you know, create something, the volante actually moves, shifts towards the channels, gets in between the players and becomes a very good outlet for the fullback on attack. Together, they draw players to the right, creating more space and mayhem in and around the box. Here in my box system, my segundo volante has the play instruction move into channels now when he receives the ball he hits towards the space down the right then he works with the fullback to create a crossing opportunity that leads to a goal in football manager it's important to understand synergy between roles because if you're going to make a role work you got to think about how he works with other roles and if you can get those combinations going sometimes you can have the hallmarks of a great tactical system so let's take a look at some of these combinations. We've got DLP and Volante. Now, why have I gone with this combination? Now, this combination is a bit of a safety first combination. I've gone with a role that holds position versus a role that's going to bomb forward quite a lot. So I'm trying to combine a bit of stability in this system because I'm, I want to occasionally have the option of launching this role as a wing back. So I've gone for safety first. Of course, there are other combinations here. You can play a roaming playmaker with the Volante, which is also a very good role. These two roles will work in tandem going up the pitch. But unless you have a really good team, I wouldn't recommend it because then both players need acceleration, stamina, work rate. Both players will have to defend well. And sometimes finding that kind of a combination can be pretty hard in the game. But if you can, I would definitely go with it. A roaming playmaker and a Volante is actually a very good combination. Finally, another great combination is the Regista and the Volante. Now, not a lot of people like to play with the Regista, but the Regista happens to be one of those roles I, I like a lot because you don't need acceleration with a Regista because a Regista is not expected to bomb up the pitch and bomb down the pitch. He's a deeper lying playmaker so you know he does combine well with a volante that tends to push up early you absolutely need to find the right kind of player for a segundo volante he needs good mentals he needs good technicals he's got to be able to try and win the ball or hustle back if you know you need to defend so if you don't find that kind of a player you're gonna struggle here our segundo volante arrives at the edge of the area which is something i expect to see you can see both the dlp and the segundo volante making their way he holds his position waits 
for a chance and then cracks it from the edge of the area. This is something that the Segundo Valente tends to do. Here we've swapped out our DLP for somebody else who got injured. You can see our Segundo Volante. On a quick breakaway, the Segundo Volante does a good job of holding the central position. Even though he's moving towards the channels, it's a good position to be in because we're controlling the center of the pitch. So here we've got a simple 4-2-4. Uh, we've got a roaming playmaker, Volante, inverted winger, told to stay wider, hold position, wing back, wing down this flank. There are no other PIs on any of these roles except for the inverted winger. Yep, they're all clear of PIs. Um, just want to show you that with a double pivot, you also get a lot of options. You might get deep diagonals from this position. You also could get deep diagonals from this position. And then you've got the deep line. And then we have the DLF on support dropping deep, working with the Volante. Occasionally, they might swap positions. He might arrive late in the box. You can also tell him to go on an attack duty because we've got a fullback on support. So we don't expect this guy to be too adventurous. Our first goal is going to be pretty simple. Two central defenders, two holding midfielders. And then we've got these players looking to hold their position. And then we've got one winger already sitting very high up in line with the rest of the players here. So when if he does get the ball, he's going to have options, right? He's got options to play balls into the space. We've got an advanced forward waiting to attack. We've got a deep line forward who's pulled defenders to one side. He's going to... The uh, Segundo Volante isn't far away. We get our first goal. It's a pretty simple goal. Here I zoomed out pretty far. I want to look at the two roles working together. The goalkeeper takes a long kick out. We win the header. Now we want to see our Segundo Volante and our roaming playmaker. They drop deep, making themselves available. They work with the defense. You can see how this combination now works on the left side of the pitch. We don't, we're not using focus play, but the moment the roaming playmaker shifts to the left, the, the Segundo Volante shifts to the middle. He helps to protect the center. So if the play was to shift to the other side of the pitch, then we would see... The Segundo Volante move to the right, the Roman Playmaker will move to the centre. It's a very nice synergy because both these roles are now on support duty. Now the ball moves to the right, you can see what's happened. The Segundo Volante has moved to the right to support play and the Roman Playmaker has shifted into the middle. As he gets the ball, he plays one beautiful ball over the top for a striker to latch onto. A Segundo Volante is a fantastic role. He starts from a deeper position, he can bomb up and down the pitch staying in the central area or... You know, he could drift out wide and support the fullbacks with the use of a play instruction. There are so many ways of using a Segundo Volante and I've only touched the tip of the iceberg. I haven't even touched back five systems where Segundo Volantes can actually be used in a very fun way. Um, yeah, Segundo Volantes on a tank, both of them. And you put them in beside an anchorman or a roaming playmaker. Then you have them bombing up and down the pitch, the roaming playmaker acting as the orchestrator of the attacks. Yes, there are plenty of ways to play this combination. As long as you understand what they are capable of. If you want them to stay in the center, they will. If you want them to occasionally move out to the flanks, they can do that too. It all depends on you. There are so many ways you can exploit this role. And I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. You can drop me a note in the comments below and let me know your little adventures with the Segundo Volante or you can just ask me questions. I hope to hear from you soon. Meanwhile, you guys stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.